cryptography sounds very arcane, esoteric, mathematical, of very little interest to us, the people who are just doing the ordinary things. But that's not the case. Unbeknownst to us, cryptography sneaks into our lives and makes us more and more dependent on its services. I'm sure that most of, of us are aware of the fact that uh, when we buy online, uh, there is some security to prevent uh, hackers from uh, getting our credit card information. But we don't think that the means that are being used to protect our privacy, to safeguard our identity, every time that we shop on the internet, is this arcane field, cryptography. Now, cryptography just yesterday was really arcane and esoteric. The only people who had any interest in cryptography were spooks and spies. Nothing ordinary about it. But how things have changed. Today, cryptography makes it possible for all of us to share the public information highway, the internet, and still have a semblance and a sense and a reality of privacy. Only cryptography makes it possible. Every time that you uh, use uh, a file sharing a program like Pando, your videos, your files are secured, remain private with the help of cryptography. When you use Skype to chat around the world or around town, it's cryptography that makes it possible. When you sign up for a, uh, a backup service that backs up your file on the cloud somewhere, it's cryptography that makes it possible. So from the moment that we wake up to the moment that we go to sleep, almost every day, we rely on cryptography. it is only incumbent upon us to spend a little time to get to know what is this cryptography that is so critical and so central in our lives in the global village. Now most of the sources of cryptography divide to two categories. Either they are geek speak and designed for professional cryptographers and mathematicians, etc., or they are very condescending. They describe cryptography as some sort of magic uh, with, uh, with superlatives uh, that this is uh, unbreakable, etc., etc. What's missing is a simple, short, run down description of cryptography for the uh, anyone who is not a professional cryptographer that's why I call it cryptography for the rest of us it is provided to you as a, as a, as a public service in uh, in the logical structure called TView with pages that uh, highlight 
the uh, points that I make uh, when I'm talking about, and you can uh, uh, review it page by page or just a few pages, just high-level pages, or go into any level of detail that is provided. It's all up to you. The main categories that uh, we uh, focus our series here on are first, what is the most critical and the most uh, alarming aspect of cryptography that you should know about? Two, what is defensive cryptography? How do we protect our secret? How do we guard ourselves with the use of cryptography? Offensive cryptography, it's how we uh, uh, break someone else's defenses. Uh, uh, if we are in some sort of uh, an adversarial relationship. And uh, then there is a little section on the uh, mathematical foundation of cryptography. I separated the mathematics so we can go through the cryptography very deeply without use of mathematics. But if you want, the mathematics comes as a separate package. And uh, finally, some sort of a review of cryptography in the past, the history of cryptography, what is it today in terms of uh, global activity, and what's the outlook for the future. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy this series.